Hello YouTube, Asuma here with another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest snapshot which is 13W028 and first of all we've been treated to five new block types. This is the block of quartz and it has four variants, the half slab, the stairs and then we have these two blocks, the chiseled and the pillar. And these two have different textures on top that you can see there than they do on the sides. And the way that we craft this is we grab our nether quartz from the new ore block that's found in the nether and we make some block of quartz like that. Now we can make half slabs using the old recipe. If we put the half slabs on top of each other, we get the chiseled block, and if we put normal blocks on top of each other, we get the pillar quartz block. And then of course, to make stairs, it's the usual recipe. The item hopper has been improved. It can now be interacted with by redstone. You can see there's some in this hopper and it's not feeding down into the chest and that's because it's being powered by this redstone. Now this works with a repeater. If you're to use a normal redstone wire, it makes no difference at all. And you can see that now we've turned it off, it's gonna feed down into the chest below. So the hopper has a new crafting recipe. If we put this chest here and put some iron ingots around it, you can see it's the same as the smooth stone recipe, except you just used iron ingots and the hopper now has a new icon as well which I think looks really cool and there's also been improved functionality with furnaces if we put in some coal at the back it's going to feed it into the bottom part here and that's because it's attached at the side and then anything attached at the top will feed into the top part here and we also have a hopper attached at the bottom and what that is going to do is it's going to take items from this part here and feed it through into this chest Minecarts are now able to carry three new block types, one of those being TNT and the other two being dispensers and mob spawners, which unfortunately I'm not able to get using the creative mode or even an external program, but they have been added. And that is the crafting recipe for a minecart with TNT. Now if I put this on the tracks and send it off, it's gonna leave the track at high velocity, which will cause it to explode. So let's have a look. And that was instant as well, you may notice. And there's also this new block type, which is called the activator rail. And the way you craft one of those is like this. And one of my ingots got stuck over there. There you go, that's six activator rails. And this has to be powered by redstone. If we power it like that, it's gonna prime the TNT when it goes over it. So let's nudge that on its way. You can see it was primed. And then let's do it again without. And you can see that it didn't get primed by the activator rail. The minecart chest was also supposed to be improved as well. Apparently when you right click on it, you're supposed to be able to see the chest open, but unfortunately I can't recreate that. And as well as that, renaming your chest in an anvil will actually give it a name for the container. So let's type Exuma's chest. There you go, you can see it's called Exuma's chest. And now when we place it down, it has the name up the top there. And as well as this, we can also rename uh, mob eggs. So I've called this one Monster Creeper, and now what I'm gonna do is place this guy down over here and put myself into survival mode. And that didn't kill me. Let's try again. And there you go, a Sumo Void was blown up by Monster Creeper. There have been lots of changes to the death messages. I can't show you all of them, but there is one for the Fawns enchantment and a lot of other ones have been changed as well, including when you fall from a high distance and it's someone else who's pushed you off the edge, it will include their name in the death message. The comparator has also been tweaked. You can see here that it has a new texture. And also, if you have one item inside a chest, you will now receive a signal using it. Textures in Minecraft have now been greatly improved. As you can see, we can now have animated textures, which is absolutely awesome. When you hold it in your hand and when it's on your hotbar as well, you can see that it's animated and it's counting from one to four, um, but it's going very fast. And it is possible to actually control the speed of these, but this is just a quick mock that I made. So you can see that we can have animated textures in Minecraft. So now all of the textures in the game have their own unique file which means you can actually create these animated textures because the way this works is you change the size of the file. So rather than being 16 by 16, you can make it 16 by 32 and the lower part of that image will then be the second frame on this. So if you're a texture pack maker and you wanna make your textures animated, what you do is you change the, uh, the length, I guess you could call it, of the image and for each 16 blocks that it goes down, and that'll be an extra frame. Now these textures can also be of different resolution now as well. That means you can have a high definition texture in your texture pack alongside a low definition one. Now when you go into your texture pack screen, you're gonna see all these different textures 
and it will tell you which ones are incompatible and you can actually select them and launch the game with them. Do not do this because it will crash your client. Um, only use texture packs that are actually compatible. So that is almost everything there is to do with this snapshot. There are a few small changes as well. The language files can now be updated without updating Minecraft itself. The skeleton's aim has been improved. The minecart sound when traveling in a minecart has been fixed. And also the item duplication bug has been patched as well. So a big thank you to the Reddit community and Redstone Helper for all of the information. And also if you want to download the clean glass texture pack, there is a link in the description box that works with this latest snapshot. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and help support the channel. So thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.